Hello and welcome to Youth on Asia's 10 hit point, 1 attack, Iron Man pump guide, where I'll be showing you how to go from Tutorial Island to the Blast Furnace pump on a 1 attack, 10 hit point, Iron Man account. The plan is to use a new account to create 10 hit point guides for the viewers like you, while at the same time creating myself a new 10 hit point Iron Man account. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go. We, we have to choose our display name. For now, we're gonna be three and three. Let's pick a real savage, savage look. Three and three with the chin strap. All right. As always, pockets must be on the shirt. Uh, you're limited to options on that. There's a. It's only one shirt with pockets, and it has two at least. I think that's perfect. And this is what three and three looks like to me. Making that bread. Our pen is now in effect. The Iron Man mode has been updated. Let's go ahead and get off the island. See Gilanoa for the very first time. First thing we gotta do. Go in here. Change that bullshit. I don't know who actually plays like that. Alright. That's step one. To From Tutorial Island to the pump. That was Tutorial Island. Another thing that I, I almost screwed up with, you should, uh, if you plan on staying 10 hit points, which I imagine if you're watching this guide, you might, keep these hidden. Well, uh, well it doesn't matter about the player op options, but NPC attack, hidden. This is how you stay 10 hit points. All right, <laughs> so we need to buy one feather. That's the only item we need for the quest. And another thing, if you haven't yet, auto-retaliate off because you don't want to auto-retaliate some hit points experience. So the first quest we're going to do is the uh, Client of Karend, which is why we needed the Feather. It'll give us two 500 experience lamps that we can put into Strength. Should get us to 9 Strength. But uh, before we can do Client of Karend, we have to uh, bond the account or get members. So after that, you'll see me then. Alright, so once you get members, you're here at Veos, you have your Feather. You then talk to Veos and you begin the quest. Okay, let him take us over to Karend. Might get a little seasick, but uh, iron stomach right here. Quest start. Do you have any quests for me, bruh? As a matter of fact, he does. How can I help you? Alright, so now that we have the enchanted stroll, scroll, we'll use it on the feather. We now have the enchanted quill. Now we need to go all around. Zaya talking to the heads of the uh, to each of the districts and getting them to, uh, to sign on. I don't really know what they're signing on to, to be honest with you. But uh, first, we need to talk to old Leans over here. Leans. Say 3 3 to Leans. There we go. All right, we run on down here to Horus in the Hosidius General Store. We talk to him. We're gonna ask him the fourth option, followed by the third option. Boom, he signed it. We're good to go. It's two down. All right, over here in the Shazian district, where'd you go? We talked to Jennifer. And of Jennifer, we need to ask her about Shazian. And then the other third option, how we gain favor in Shazian. So she signed it, we're good to go, and off to the next. Okay, over here in uh, Lovakinj, we talk to Munty. And Munty, we use four, and then the third option. And he signs our damn paper. Alright, now we're here in the Arceus district. We're going to talk to old Raygath. The fourth, followed by the third option. Alright, now we must return to Veos. Then we're going to have to walk to the Dark Altar, and then back to Veos. Let's get on it. So now that we're done with uh, seeing all the shop owners, you come back to Veos, option four, and when you speak to him, he's going to have us go to the dark altar now. Activate mysterious orbs, actually what we need to do. Cha-ching! All right, now we just return to Veos, and that's a uh, client of Karend, boys. All right, here we are back at old Velos. Just forward to him. Ah, oh, he turned into a skeleton. The heck? There it is. We got our uh, two lamps, our Karend favor certificate, the Cardus mem memoirs. Let's go ahead and rub our lamps. Strength. Boom. 
It's level 6 off the first one. Strength again. Now she gets to level 9. Boom, level 9. Alright, so we'll have to keep our eye open for a, a Dr. Jekyll random. We're going to need that. We need a strength potion for this. But in the meantime, we'll be on to the next thing, which will be probably Pyramid Plunder for strength levels. So let's get on it. Alright, so before we can do some Pyramid Plunder, we have to uh, start the quest. It's, it's Larian's Little Helper, which requires us to do Gertrude's Cat. To do Gertrude's Cat, we need a little bit of money. 100 GP to bribe somebody in the quest. So uh, we're going to pickpocket this man here in Lumbridge. And we'll just suicide, we'll die, and uh, pick our coins up whenever we get back. Alright, so here we are at Gertrude's. We gotta start her quest. We have all the uh, prerequisite items. Two Dougal leaves, we don't even need two. We just need one. Sardine, which we bought at the uh, fishing shop in Port Serum, and a bucket of milk. So let's get on it. I assume you guys know how to do Gertrude's cat. Here we are at Gertrude. We've uh, saved her kitten. And uh, got her cat back, so we'll finish this quest. They'll give us a kitten. Got some cooking XP, so that get us to 12 cooking. And a cat. Nice. All right, now that we've uh, gotten some fishing levels and grew a cat in the meantime, we'll uh, pull the lever twice so we can get to Artie. It's an easy way to get there. Don't show this message anymore, please. Boom, boom. Terrified from my little life. We've uh, come over here to train some thieving and uh, get some cakes. All right, you can see this guard's being blocked by my alt account right there. That way I can just sit here and thieve cakes without paying too much attention. And I can bank the cakes and drop the rest. So if you ever want an easier time starting out an account and banking cakes, you can do this or you can actively click twice as much and uh, talk to the town crier when he stands right here and use him as a block, but can't be asked for all that. Look at that. We got ourselves a Jekyll. Whoo wee. So glad I got a Jekyll. That's our strength potion. Banked. All right, here we are. We uh, stole some silk so we'd have some GP for the carpet rides and also some GP for feathers later on. We're going to sell it to the silk merchant now. Eh, we're going to get 60. Got to get 60, bro. All right, so we're going to finish selling our silk and then we'll get on with uh, starting at Schlarian's little helper. So now we've gone and uh, sold all of our silk, got 12,300 coins. Before we go and uh, start the quest, we're going to go ahead since we're on this side of the map, and knock out 15 agility at the the gnome agility course. So we'll uh, we'll get to that, and then see when we're done. All right, the last obstacle we have to do. Squeeze on through. Boom. 15 agility. Now, before we go and do the quest, finally start Ichlarian's little helper. We need to collect some super. Uh, some super anti-poisons. The one doses north of Castle Wars. So we'll get on that. Alright, so over here we got the super anti-poison one dose that spawns. So we're just gonna hop here. You know, get four or five four doses of this and you know, that should be enough for us to get our levels and leave a couple in the bank, I'd imagine. Alright, here we are. The uh, Ishlarin's little helper quest start. Go over here, talk to the Wanderer. Make sure you have your cat with you, a water skinned four dose, and a tinder box. Say the second option. Alright, give her the supplies at the first option. Talk to her again, tell her yes, you have all of them with the fourth option. Then look into the wanderer's eyes. Ooh, deeply into the wanderer's eyes. Don't blink. Oh, shiz. All right, go into this rock. I hope, I hope this is the right rock. Yep, there we are. Make sure you eat some food, and bam, we'll find the pyramid, but for now, that's all you have to do of the quest. You don't have to do uh, any further than this to access the pyramid plunder. All right, so here we are. We uh, enter the anonymous-looking door. Hope we don't get punched by this little goblin. Goblin punched us. Go in here, quick start the minigame, 
past the spear trap. And then just open the sarcophagus. Get ready to quick leave just in case, you know, you get a mummy that pops out and wants to pop you with a hot six. Push it to the limit. And there we are. Twelve. And the mummy didn't even get a hit. Savage. So from twelve we can pot to fifteen, which means well, I clicked the wrong thing here. Which means barbarian fishing at forty-eight. At forty-eight fishing we can barbarian fish leaping trout and we can pot to fifteen strength. So let's get on. The uh, fishing grind. Alright, so here we are back at the Pyramid Plunder. I uh, trained my fishing up, got to where I could barbarian fish, I drank my strength potion, and if you don't have more than one strength potion, being level 12 will not be enough. If you only have one, I recommend 14 strength, and if you have two, maybe 13, but you just don't catch fish that fast at that low of a fishing level. Either which way, here I am now with 15 strength. Let's get to fishing. There's 30 strength, now we're ready to get to the blast furnace. All right, so here we are. This is the uh, first entrance to Keldegram. We're going to start the giant dwarf in order to uh, get to the blast furnace. Before I go in here, I want to show you guys it's just right up here to the east of Relica, north of the Preminent Province. You get yourself to Sears, walk north, and around here, you'll end up uh, here if you walk north far enough. But once you walk into uh, the first set of doors with the two dwarfs next to it, we're going to have to go through a second set of doors. And then you'll want to talk to the uh, to the dwarven boatman. So you talk to the uh, dwarven boatman over here. Ask him if uh, you can take a ride. Yeah, we'll take a ride. And uh, watch a shortcut soon. Then after you uh, watch this cutscene, you'll be in Keldegrim. The Rise of the Red Axe, Part 1. The Giant Dwarf. Oh no, you klutz dwarf! How'd you run us into the statue? Thought we were supposed to be riding in the river, mate. Alright, so you'll appear over here in uh, Commander Veldaban. Yeah, Veldaban's house. He'll say some words to you. you I'm skipping right through it, because we're not going to do any more of the quest. Can't be bothered, mate. Alright, leave the door. Right now we're on the uh, the eastern, no, the western side of Caldegram. We need to get to the eastern, down here to where the blast furnace is. Just walk over here to the north, where you'll see a bridge. Cross the bridge. Walk past the ferry. All right, right here is where it is. Through these doors, this door, all three of these doors. Then down the stairs. Once you uh, go down the stairs, you'll be inside of the blast furnace. Uh, standard pumping world is 319. So you'll come here to 319, walk over here to the pump, you'll see it uh, full of people. You just hop right on and start gaining your EXP. Now fun facts about the Blast Furnace here, <clears throat> you get a maximum of 12k strength experience an hour, uh, 2 per tick. Also you can pump for uh, 5 minutes at a time before you log out without clicking in your inventory or something to that degree or typing. But also, every one hour and 40 minutes, you'll be forced off of the pump and have to get on no ma back on it no matter what. And you'll just be standing just like this right here. So just get yourself back on the pump when that happens, and it's all good to go. So that'll conclude my guide to uh, from tutorial to the blast furnace pump. Hope it helped you guys out a lot, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, slap that like button and subscribe for future 10 hit point Iron Man guides. I know there are other ways to go from Tutorial Islands to the pump, and this is just one route you could take. If you use this guide to make your own 10 hit point 1 attack Iron Man, let me know in the comment section down below. Until next time, stay classy RuneScape.